culture like that. I'd find that funny. I don't find it funny. <laughs> keep filming it because I don't really care. Well, could you talk a little bit about how uh, the event at Army kind of played out, how this became a, a spot on the schedule for you guys? We owe year? Army a visit because last year when Oregon State um, couldn't make it, um, we called Army because they were in Ames. We actually we called two two schools, Lenny Zaleski at Cal Baptist and an Army, Kevin Warren, and we got Kevin Warren to commit, and it was awesome. It was awesome for us, for our fans. If you remember, it was a day late. It could have been a mess. It wasn't. So good, good for you know us and our relationship. And next year. Uh, we said we'd go out and see you, and here we are. It's next year, and we're going out to see him. How much does that mean? You know, that was, that was no easy task to pull off, especially in a short amount of time with your staff and their staff. They're willing to do that. How much does that mean, and how much does that help wrestling as a whole when guy, you know, people are flexible to put things on like this? I think that when you're in a bind and somebody like that steps up and there was really no hesitation, um, you know, Coach Ward, he, um, I mean, he just, he's that, he's, he's, he comes from a good place in the sport. Um, I think he understands as well as anybody that it's competitive and sometimes you step up and that doesn't happen um, all the time. So we, we owe him. We owe him. But now it's business and we got to get ready to go and it'll be a, it'll be a good environment. It's a historical a historic place will you take some time out to kind of view West Point at all or will it strictly be business we have a uh, I mean it's always you know you culture yourself to other parts of the country or the world when you visit um, keeping our guys ready is is primary but um, you know there's some there's some Iowa Hawkeyes out there we've gotten some invites to do exactly what you're saying and uh, there's some alum out there and we're excited to go out there and compete. And then we, the next day we go upstate a little bit to Albany and have two more duels. So three dual meets coming up. We got to be ready for them. Three in two days. How many, how many guys can you bring or will you bring on the trip? We can bring 15. Um, we will bring 15. So. Is a... Uh... The following Tuesday is the All-Star Classic. Um, got a handful of guys there, including Real Woods. Um, haven't seen his name come up yet. Is he good to go for that Tuesday? He is day-to-day. -day. Uh, we'll let the cat out of the bag right here. So it's day-to-day, -day, and we do owe a quick decision to Austin, Texas, but it's day-to-day. -day. What have you seen different out of Jacob Warner since March, whether it's personality or wrestling? Uh, he, his hair is longer. Um, he's always been a um, free-spirited, fun guy, and maybe maybe letting that go a little more, and maybe because he's you know been here for a while, and this is his last campaign. But he's always been that way, and um, always liked him that way. You know, those are good qualities. Um, those are actually good memories um, for me when I think of Jake, Jacob Warner. To have a handful of guys included on the all-star card, um, how cool is that? One, that it's even back, and two, that there's pretty strong Iowa presence on it. Uh, good. I mean, we've been invited to the all-star meet a lot, as you can imagine. Um, I think the NIL stuff with it, and I don't know if anybody's aware of that, um, but I think that makes a difference. Um, and I think the promoters are no dummies. And with the way that college athletics is right now, um, there's ways to get the best talent at one place. There's a way to do that where they can put some money in their pocket um, through the NIL framework. So, not that you know, it's not a good event anyway, but it does get 
the best talent there, or at least it gives you the best chance to get the best talent there. Is this the best timing for it earlier in the season? I don't. I mean, you ask me that every year, and it used to be early, like January-ish, um, and then it was the first event of the year, like November 1st, and then it fell on, on kind of this date, and I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, I know that we got to be ready to go. That's what I know. I know that our opponents are worthy, and we got to be ready to go. And I know that our guys are excited, all three of them. I know that. Assuming the plan for Warner and Cast is to get all three this weekend before Tuesday, or have you thought about that? Or? I mean, that's their choice, yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. It's their choice, but yeah. Wow. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.